In the beauty industry today, we all share a common goal, to reach one billion new consumers. Tonight, we are here to talk about you and your organizations. Are you prepared to reach them? Where are we going to find one billion new consumers? Are they here? Découvrez pourquoi une femme sur deux tentée par une intervention The 1.4 billion adults living on more than $10,000 a year. Currently, we compete over the same market shares of this middle and upper class population, creating a red ocean of struggling business models. When actually, the one billion new consumers are here, at the bottom of the pyramid. The three billion adults living on less than $10,000 a year. This is a huge blue ocean waiting for us to explore. And to achieve our collective goal, we must reinvent the way we work today to reach these new consumers. Who are the billions at the bottom of the pyramid? They are people just like us with desires, aspirations, and values. They are people who represent over two-thirds of the world's population, making them the largest socioeconomic group worldwide. They are people who are economically active as consumers, producers, entrepreneurs, and employees. They represent almost 44% of the world GDP, even though they are largely excluded from formal markets. Contrary to popular belief, populations at the bottom are not just found in developing markets. There are people living on less than $10,000 a year in our own backyards. There are many misconceptions about them, and here are just a few. They are not intelligent enough. Yet, the New York Times featured a story about a Sudanese orphan accepted into an Ivy League college. Talent, he said, is universal. Opportunity is not. They will never be employed by me. When in fact, 97% of future population growth will come from these markets. Their integration into our workforce is imminent. They do not have enough buying power. However, these untapped diverse markets represent a $7 trillion market opportunity. And collectively, they spend over $10 billion a day just to live their lives. They are not brand conscious. When in reality, this population is value conscious, but even more brand conscious, because brands symbolize aspirations for a better life and instill a sense of security. How do we connect with these consumers when we are here and they are there. Most corporations today use the traditional organizational hierarchy. Despite advances in technology, changing demographics, and globalization, we are still confined by this same structure. This creates exclusionary behavior. The first weakness of the traditional hierarchy is information exclusion. Information is not shared among the workforce. It is reserved for a select few. And there is organizational exclusion, organizational bound in silos, which prevent us from collaboration. And lastly, leadership exclusion. Many leaders are not globally mindful enough to reach these consumers. So to connect with one billion new consumers, we must reinvent how we share information, how we work together, and how we develop leaders. Let's take a closer look at the traditional pyramid, where the leaders are at the top and the workers are at the bottom. First, to overcome leadership exclusion, off with its head. Then, redistribute your managers so that they are closer to the front line. To overcome information exclusion, add more structural support and connectivity. Finally, unite leadership with a common goal. 
Introducing the new organizational structure, the bridge. Bridging leadership, organizations, and information together to reach the future consumer and to attract the future workforce. What makes up a bridge? Bridges are comprised of three key elements, anchors, beams, and a deck. The anchors represent leadership. They establish the foundation of the organization with a strong vision and company mission. The beams represent networks of communication. They transmit the information between the leaders and the workforce. This fosters a multi-dimensional dialogue that goes up, out, and across to all stakeholders. The deck represents the workforce. It supports the entire structure and now has a deeper sense of purpose through this new organization of transparency and inclusion. Finally, the other anchor, which holds the structure together, is the consumer. Now that the bridge is complete, it can serve and drive innovation to best suit their needs. Since leadership is so dependent on the consumer, we have redefined our consumers as partners. So as we reflect back on the traditional hierarchy, we realize that pyramids can get bigger, but don't go anywhere. Whereas bridges are open and flexible, yet sturdy and resilient. They create connections, open new possibilities, and connect what is not naturally connected. In the bridge, leadership is supportive of the workforce and supported by the consumer. The interdependent partnership cultivates the global leaders that will connect us with one billion new consumers. An example of this leadership cultivation is through Project Shakti. Started by Hindustan Lever Limited, Project Shakti provides Indian women at the bottom of the pyramid with the tools and education needed to sell and distribute Unilever products. This mutual value creation improves the livelihood of these women and the communities they live in. It also becomes a novel distribution channel for Unilever. In 2010, the Shakti network reached over 600 million consumers, and today the program is being scaled out to Southeast Asia and Africa. Another example of leadership cultivation is through Endeavor, a nonprofit organization that provides budding entrepreneurs in emerging markets with world-class mentorship, strategic advice, and access to networks to grow them into successful business people. Pictured here is Helena Assis, a Brazilian woman who started making hair products in her local community. After realizing she lacked the resources and training needed to take her business, Beleza Natural, to the next level, she reached out to Endeavor and through them, grew her business to employ over 1,300 people and deliver over 30 million in sales each year. If the beauty industry cultivated a presence like this in new markets, we could be at the forefront of identifying new opportunities capturing new distribution channels, and closing our global leadership gaps. In the bridge, information connectivity allows for an efficient collaboration that ignites innovation and creates a feeling of community among the global workforce. This vibrant network will strengthen our ability to create the best products at the lowest cost for the most people in the shortest time. This will bring us closer to our goal of connecting with one billion new consumers. Think of what the democratization of information through Google has done for the world's collaboration. By empowering our workforce with modern tools to facilitate the transfer of information, the beauty industry can leverage its expertise across the global organization and collaborate beyond our structures. Moreover, only 13% of university graduates from emerging markets are suitable for employment in our corporations simply because they lack English skills. Through technology, we are empowered to read every language, to write every language, and to speak every language. For a seamless transfer of information to react even quicker to the changing needs of the global consumer. In the bridge, Workforce flexibility gives this structure its most important attribute, resilience. After all, a bridge that is rigid will break. We must be flexible, inclusive, and respectful of global values. This will help us attract, retain, and engage the future workforce that will connect us with one billion new consumers. To be inclusive, our careers must adjust to our employees instead of our employees adjusting to their careers. Inspired by the Deloitte model, 
the Career Life Bridge can help the beauty industry retain talent based on pace, workload, location, and role. An employee can choose to dial up or dial down when life's priorities take over. Flexibility strengthens our organization by allowing our workforce to put their values before the organization. By remembering that our employees are people first and managers second, the beauty industry will not only attract the blessed global talent, it will significantly improve its pipeline of female talent. Together, reinventing how we develop leaders, how we share information, and how we work together can connect us to one billion new consumers, but we still lack one essential element. A bridge can connect people, but it does not have a purpose unless people cross it. We must accept that we are now the minority, not the majority. We must foster a completely inclusive culture that encourages an exchange through awareness and acceptance of different values so the beauty industry can be embraced by the global community. So now that you know how to reach one billion new consumers, are you ready? Do you want to win? How many people from diverse markets are on your board? How often do your managers and leaders spend time living in these countries? Do you know the cultures and values of your employees and consumers in Shanghai, in Mumbai, and in Jakarta? Do you have a global talent pipeline? Are you even fit to attract them? Have you equipped your workforce with the technologies to work smarter? And lastly, if you were given just $4 a day to live on, would you buy your brand? To cross this bridge, we must go back to our vision. This is our Humanifesto. We believe that beauty belongs to the billions. And to reach every last one of us, we must embrace the possibility that we can create a way of being with each other that honors our common humanity and allows us to approach each other with a sense of interest, mutual respect, engagement, and community for beauty that bridges every billion. Where will your bridge go?